Okay, so I'm Joe again. Welcome back, guys, in this Joe. We call it Joe, Journey of an Entrepreneur. Uh, I'm very happy to have Zavos with me. Zavos Zabolion, who is the co-founder and CEO of Click Payments. So my name again, if you don't know me, so Sofian Begedi, I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Loza Group. So we have we provide solution for every problem that an entrepreneur may have. And there's a lot, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and Journey of an Entrepreneur basically is we spend a couple of minutes uh, with an entrepreneur uh, in this beautiful city of Toronto. Not the beautiful weather today, unfortunately, yeah. but we cannot have guess. everything. Uh, ask question about who, what he's, he's doing, why he decide or her. She decides, for example, if it's a woman, we had this one incredible woman this morning, decide to become an entrepreneur. What are the advice that you give, Absolutely. you can give? what are you doing as a product we mm -hmm. want to know more about it and yeah so basically this is it and uh, so the first question Zavosh, is who are you what's your who background oh. present yourself <laughs> absolutely Sophia thanks so much for having me this is very exciting and I'm um, looking forward to share um, a little bit of my my story and what we've been doing so I started when I was really young I was around 14 15 and I really saw the path of entrepreneurship as the only way of kind of um, uh, a positive future for myself uh, and um, that said I started my first company when I was 16 Wow! and I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> I didn't know anything about anything but I was like I have a company now Wow! Uh, walked down university and registered it, and I was like, "Really? I'm a business owner now." It was like it was something that you were thinking about, or I think it was passion. Just, I was always drawn to inventors when I was younger, and I think that's translated to now entrepreneurs. Mm. But it was just fascinating growing up, reading the stories of what they've accomplished and the, the inventions, like you know. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess that inspired <laughs> me early on. But it was a lot of trial and error, a lot of failures, and like back to back from 16 to 18, I started another company. And the first vertical I was in was media and entertainment because that was like right in front of me. Uh, so I started like a recording um, studio and uh, production house and had talent. We were trying to like get them record deals at the time. And it was very interesting because it taught me a lot of things about managing something that has multiple layers mm. as a producer and so on mm. and uh, also being in a very competitive field it kind of showed me uh, the ways around uh, I refer to it as like muddy water swimming in muddy <laughs> waters like, you, know, you can't see in front of you you just gotta keep going so you know over the years I've had different technology startups too but uh, long story short I'm where I've discovered that I'm passionate about scalable solutions so mm. something that could really have social impact and uh, that's really something that can, I'm passionate can about. Can you define it for you as a way to solve a problem or more curiosity linked to I'm curious but at the same time let's solve problems? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. <laughs> you know solving the problem is the main thing as you know Yeah. but uh, I also like the X factor, something mm. that stands out, that has the sexy sort of brand behind it that you know people would want. Yeah. So not necessarily just something that solves a problem, but it also has to be cool enough that I would see myself <laughs> using it. Yeah. Or I guess that's the entertainment yeah, background. Yeah, yeah. I got it. That. Uh, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about click payments. Sure. Uh, I would love to know. We would love to know about what are you doing, guys, there. Uh, the service, the product, okay. uh, and why why abs we should absolutely use it okay. uh, as a f direct customer. If you deal with direct customers or partners, whatever. Sure. So, click the journey for me started seven years ago okay. with the e-commerce platform. Okay. okay. And the e-commerce platform, uh, we were trying to fill in the gap between Amazon and Shopify and so on. Mm -hmm. And the very last piece of it was payments. So, about three years ago, um, when we got to that. I was like calling every bank trying to get a merchant account set up for this business and they couldn't give us what we required yeah so I learned and it was shocking to realize how far behind the banking community was mm. and um, slowly started to look into different ways to solve that problem blockchain being a solution mm. other ways of going around it and then uh, with my co-founders Sina and Nasi mm -hmm. <laughs> great guys I, <laughs> I uh, had a great conversation last year and they were working on some things that were very similar to like there was a lot of overlap yeah and you know 
one of them, uh, his background is blockchain. The other one, his background is uh, you know from remittances and so on. So wow. very strong, uh, diverse group joining forces and uh, created Click. Okay, so <laughs> Click, the way we put it is um, it's an instant payments platform. Okay. So when we go to buy like a cup of coffee, you know, I, I bought this earlier today. I use my credit card or a debit card, mm -hmm. but the business doesn't get the money. Believe okay. it or not, they have to wait a couple of days in the batch system really? before they get paid. Yeah, and this is a lot of small businesses, medium business, medium sized businesses. I didn't know about that. Why? Um, because of the old payment infrastructure. Mm, validations. Yeah. Whatever. Mm. It takes some time before they could get their money. So okay. imagine you're a small business. Yeah. Now let's say you had a revenue ten thousand dollars for some deal, but your profit is about maybe three four hundred bucks. Yeah. Now you very wait, tiny. Yeah. very tiny, and you wait two, three days, then the payment company chips away at it, mm. and then the balances that they provide these businesses, I've looked at it, and I don't know if many people have seen them, but it's so confusing, and that's how they also get charged more. Wow. So at some point, people just leave it. But at the same time, they have to pay the expense, they have to pay Absolutely. the cost of the electricity. So a lot of people stuff. use debt, they're always behind Got on it. payment. Yes. So our goal is to help these uh, businesses Wow. have instant mm. access to their funds at the same time provide some financial literacy yeah. um, really we, we we like to be more caring than the current payment companies yeah, yeah. that are out there um, a little bit more savvy to help yeah. the users get to know so there's a p2p element so yeah. you and i go and i owe you some money because we we had lunch yeah and instead of me using e-transfer or something that takes long mm. i can instantly you know send you my share so i as can well as so f is it is it for businesses, for individuals, both? So, um, the way you can imagine it is, it's an ecosystem. Mm. So it's a big undertaking, but very simply put, um, in in any ecosystem, so you have the person to person, yeah, person to business, and vice versa, and even person to government for taxes and vice versa. So right. now you look at some other countries like China, like India, they've made their own, and because like China is a closed economy, they were able to roll it out. Which is WeChat Pay or Alipay? Yes, yes, yes. I'm doing great. Yeah, that's, that's very super big. successful. Mm. Um, India with Paytm and Google helped them build their payments infrastructure. So North America is fairly behind. Okay. But um, interesting. We're working closely with government groups, Payments Canada, with um, you know, in the states, we're part of what the Clearinghouse has put together as the U.S. Faster Payments Council. Oh, wow. So working with like Walmart and Mastercard and Visa on a weekly, bi-weekly basis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And working groups. So we're actually trying to figure out the best way to roll okay. this forward yeah, yeah, as yeah, yeah. faster payments or real-time payments and this is possible with the technology absolutely but the difference is this so some folks are using blockchain yeah but it's limited to the number of transactions per second mm. okay maybe down the road it will be you know less expensive and a lot more scalable but currently that's one method mm. like uh, companies you know uh, such as circle pay and yeah. there's a lot of them out there yeah and uh, there's some who are for example like Apple yes you know, recently announced their credit card that's yes. titanium credit card. Absolutely, so yeah. They're looking at the same problem from different points of view. Mm. Um, the way we're looking at it is similarly to WeChat Pay and Paytm is an ecosystem. So the difference is we're homegrown in North America. We understand the regulations here. Uh, we understand the needs of the businesses here, the marketing around yes. it. And uh, our platform to start with, we're gonna most likely integrate a lot of it with third-party platforms and e-commerce sites where as a contractor, ah, okay. let's say I go, I'm a plumber, I go somewhere and instead of me sending an invoice and waiting for my money, I can instantly get paid. Mm. So And it's easy to download, to use. Yeah. Wow, I mean, so now I guess all the small businesses, etc., should absolutely call you. But it would be better for them. They would save money. And no, but I mean, I, like I didn't know about this information to be honest, um, because I thought that once you pay someone, you get it right. Because right then away. you you just pay interest rate for nothing by getting debt just to still surviving, you waiting. Up. You got it. And for the bigger businesses, what they care about is the balances. It's those account balances that they they receive. Yeah. It could be a lot more trans uh, transparent this way. Yeah. Versus the previous batch system that's been in place but what's happening is you have the governments kind of rolling this out as part of the global payments uh, modernization roadmap yeah uh, we're aligned with that roadmap but this could take years before everyone switches yeah, yeah, all sure, the banks sure, sure. switches so we're really early to the market mm -hmm. that's one of our advantages 
and we're, we've identified some key partnerships uh, one with Microsoft the other one with the clearinghouse that I mentioned to you yeah so there's a there's a lot of opportunity for us as a fintech wow and for the first time in Canada um, Ministry of Finance has put this uh, forward to allow fintechs to access this infrastructure which wasn't okay. available before so we're kind of excited about that and That's whenever that happens but <laughs> so you do it in Canada for the both here that is only for Canada right um, or no we, so we as have we're rolling this out we're also looking at other options to expand so in Canada and US are moving fairly closely together yeah but uh, I was in Washington DC a couple weeks ago and had some great conversations with some of the finance ministers of uh, developing countries mm -hmm. so Africa for example yes parts of South America because they never uh, had the credit systems yeah they can just advance right into this next uh, infrastructure yeah. payment so yeah, yeah, yeah. we want to help them you know boost their economy and like in, in for example Ivory Coast yeah about 7% uh, of their population is under the age of 35 so now you're talking job mm. creation you're talking yes. really that's a massive them that's a massive problem so over there you can do. that's that's great oh I'm, I, I love it so that's <laughs> great I mean good for you it's it's impressive so here's here's another question if maybe you don't have any need but if you have any need to connect with someone uh, something a partner a customer whatever you name it yeah uh, and he's probably listening now do you have any any kind of uh, asking request or need you want to connect with someone or you need to hire someone or whatever oh that's that's very <laughs> nice of you let's <laughs> see who knows you know well, for everywhere anyone who's out there who is either um, an expert from the payments or finance or you know the cybersecurity space would be happy to have conversations and around collaboration for anyone who is interested to learn would be happy to have conversations and see how we can uh, collaborate our vision of the future is sort of like building an inclusive payments company yeah. that brings the best of banking commerce and payments into mm. one place so um, right now we're growing and we're looking for winners and people who are supportive and yeah. like to be part of the process and the journey yeah. with us yeah and it's a very competitive field as you know so we're definitely looking for anyone who is interested in adding value or sees value in what we have to you know definitely contact us and we'll have a chat that that yeah please command or send me a message because I know those guys are super dynamic uh, I, I love what you're doing you, you are everywhere so <laughs> so so can, how can we find you um, you have a website can we share yeah, something okay, social media dot click is the website there's not a lot on there because okay. a lot of our work is sure. done behind the scenes sure. but it's pay with dot click and gonna share it. my email is zavosh at pay with dot click um, we can share uh, I have another question. Sure. Okay. It's tough to be to be entrepreneur. Oh yeah. It's yes. a long journey. So, <laughs> what what is the the most difficult um, that you faced, okay. like during this journey, or you're still facing, or how do you manage this, etc. Okay. Okay. Are you it's ready for my uh, Honestly, Sophia, it's being an entrepreneur is being promoted as this glamorous lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody wants in on it, yeah. but for those like yourself who have, like, you know, spent many years and built something, and it's not just owning the business. The way I like to look at it is, it's been labeled as entrepreneur. Like anybody now who sells anything is is referred to as an entrepreneur. <laughs> right. But unless you're looking to solve a problem or see something being done differently, mm. and you're willing to take the risk, you're willing to, you know, put in your all. Like when everybody was on horses, Henry Ford pictures a. Yeah. moving vehicle yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an entrepreneur in my opinion yes yes versus just you know selling the same thing absolutely so that comes with massive passion and you know you have to be a self-starter to some degree be okay to take risks and when I started I had zero resources and um, I just I was excited about this journey I still am and I faced so many challenges um, you, you're excited about something people don't necessarily see it in the beginning mm. and uh, you can easily get discouraged so you have to have something that means more than just wanting money or wanting to make a you oh. know, big name so you have to really That's drive good. it yeah and uh, unfortunately in, in some some parts of the world uh, where the naturally the culture is more conservative they're not going to support you being a risk taker and they're not going to encourage you to fail yes and uh, my only two cents to everyone out there is it's an amazing journey because every day has many surprises with it. Yeah. Uh, so if you're willing to give it your all and make a difference that benefits everybody, yeah, then massive success could come with that. But you have to be willing to 
fail and be okay or like change the way you look at failure yeah yeah correct you know? so that's i think the toughest it's not lesson. a problem to fail don't don't be ashamed of that right yeah it's the, the toughest advice. lesson i think it's the toughest lesson because it, it's nobody likes that feeling of you know disappointment mm. and rejection and i think i've been rejected more than i can <laughs> count <laughs> so now it's part of my fuel yeah but Part of my personal transformation, if, if I could share this, yes, sure. was early on, I was agitated, frustrated, and it was like, it's not fair, like, how come somebody just gets it easily, and like, I have to work extra hard, and if anybody relates to that, I would say, now, I've kind of helped myself create a more healthy lifestyle, whether it's, you know, eating healthy, whether it's exercise, or meditation, or whatever it may be that works for, for, for yourself, but you channel your frustrations with a different energy rather than frustration absolutely you know and then that absolutely. opens some doors I absolutely think. that's that's um, i love i love this kind of, it's, it's funny because every time i have the chance of getting entrepreneurs with me in this journey and speak like we learn even if i i have the experience and i did it we're still learning every day and every day i see that kind of passion in the eyes of the entrepreneurs and so it could be the advice that you can give for someone who is listening right now who is let's say hesitating show up you gotta you gotta love uncertainty don't uh, look at it uncertainty creates fear so we yes. don't know it yes. and I didn't know this oh, for the longest time it. it's just fear so you're, you're like I don't want to go there but it could also be looked at as just uncertainty and that works for you so you have to take the first step like you said show up yeah and then you might meet someone and then you might you know learn about something but you can't figure it out in your head so if you're sitting there thinking you know I have this great idea and you know I see someone doing it and I have this other idea the idea is great but you got to start somewhere you got to just take a chance do it even if it's not you know the best thing but you're doing it next thing you know you meet the right people next thing you know you're having conversations with people that can help you and support you and so I think it just it more focus on the action versus uh, the thought it comes down to the personal journey. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the journey. Totally. That was great. That was, thank you very much for your time. Thank it was you. really, really, really great to have you here to share your experience. Uh, I love what you are doing. We're gonna share all the information about what you're doing. And, and please, if you if you feel that you are in any interest or connection with Zawash, to help them grow and join this this amazing team. Uh, connect, comment, send a message. We're going to share all this information. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That was, yeah, was great. It was really things. great. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Have a good day. Bye everyone. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you are interested about joining me to speak about your product or services and let the world know about it, uh, don't hesitate, comment below or send me a message just here. Uh, again, if you're an entrepreneur, we have a solution for every problem that you may have. We have this virtual incubator. Lausanne Institute, if you are in very, very early stage with a very limited budget, we help you to grow by getting five stars advice from experts who made it without paying a fortune. We have Lausanne Media that helps you to grow and boost your business brand and generate leads. We have Lausanne Connect, connects you with um, business partners, investors, associates, uh, you name it. In short, we have solution for you. We have a lot of solution for you. So. I'm looking forward to see you soon. Stay tuned and don't hesitate if you need our services, send you send us a message. Have a good day. Bye.